Brandon Kaminer making the start. Two and one on the year, 2.79 ERA. And we are set to go here in Wednesday baseball. Thirds innings, eight hits allowed. Only three walks, seven strikeouts. That's smacked inside the line and will go for extra bases as Montiel is on his way. He spanked that one for his third double of the season. Now he is hitting 182 at the top of the order, but a good start for South Alabama. Kaminer to the plate. Wilson gives this a ride to deep center field. And Giacomo backs up and makes the catch a couple of strides away from the warning track. That ball was hit about 380 feet and plenty deep enough to move. In a ball game. Kaminer delivers the one-two pitch. Cabrera started back. He's coming on now and he's there for the out. He cuts loose to the plate. The runner held from third. I thought they would send Montiel with no hesitation, but he took a few steps and then thought better of it. And a liner to center field is a clean base hit, and Sandal not only moves his hitting streak to four, he drives in Montiel from third base, one nothing South Alabama to the plate. Runner is on the move, and he got a terrific jump. Malazzo guns down there safe. Sandal really got an excellent start from first base, and Malazzo cut loose with a very good throw, as is his custom, but uh, that bench would not have been able to get him that time. That, that was a huge advantage away from first. And now Daly will be walked. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch. Bates goes down, the first strikeout for Kaminer. Here's Cade Doty. He bangs it to the right side and finds open space. Doty with a base hit. Well, that's just what we're talking about and really getting beat up on. He said, I didn't want my young guys to lose confidence. Out at second. Out at first. Santi Martiel did an excellent job of snaring. 15 RBIs last year, but only came in hitting 138. He drives this one toward the right field corner. Cabrera leaves his feet, but he can't get it. He will pick it up on the warning track, and De La Torre stops at second base with his third double of the season. Sub 200, as is the leadoff batter. This ball is hit sharply. Cranford's got it and makes the play over at first base. Call your Cranford to Cade below to me, and we'll read them on the air. Swing and a miss. Kaminer threw it in a good place, didn't he, Ben? He threw it in a perfect place, and it had a little bit of cut to it. For whatever reason, not able to get the ball out of the ball yard as of yet. This may change things. I think it way, will. Way, way back. Pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Cade Beloso smashes his first home run of the year. It immediately moves his hitting streak to five games. And on one swing, the sophomore first baseman pulls this game even. I think he might have hurt us, Lim. He said, you guys ain't going to talk bad about me. I'm going to show you something. He finds the barrel way out to right center field. And a nice, balanced attack, and he knew it. Yeah, left field for LSU's kind of been a revolving door up to this point, you know. Dugas hits it sharply. It finds open space on the left side. Back-to-back -back base hits by LSU. Gavin Dugas keeps swinging it like season. Runner on the move. Ground ball right side. Glove by the second baseman. He dives and makes the play himself. A four unassisted put out. You don't see that all the time. Well, what an effort. Numbers on Beloso's home run. The runner will have to retreat to second base. The out is made at first. Bates retreats. He's drifting back, and he makes the catch a couple of steps in front of the warning track. Malazzo game. Kaminer's 3-2 pitch. Lobbed into right field. That finds space for a base hit. Reed Powers twice has gone that way. The first time Cabrera caught his fly ball. The 2-2 pitch from Kaminer. Got him swinging. And that's inside, ball four. So, Kaminer delivers. And that gets a piece 
of Andrew Bates. So all of a sudden, the water is starting to book out. And does not have an ERA, right? Zero. Correct. Kaminer takes care of business. Davis left at the plate for the second straight. Cranford chops one up the middle, and Stokes cannot make a backhanded play. The order we go for Zach Mathis. He drops one into center field. Cranford is around second. Cranford will make third without a throw. Runners on the corners on back-to-back -back base hits by Collier Cranford and Zach Mathis. And the newcomers come through for LSU in the... He spanks this one on a hop through the left side. An RBI single by Doty. The throw is cut off, and Doty sees the throw go to third base and alertly scoots into scoring position himself. So Doty hustling to second base after the RBI single. Ring the doorbell right here. A liner to center. That drops in for a base hit. Two Tigers will score as Daniel Cabrera drives in a pair, and LSU has four consecutive hits and three runs in the inning. Here's Cade Beloso, who checks his swing and hits a tapper back to the pitcher. The throw down to second for one. Beloso is able to beat the relay throw. Dugas pokes it to right on a line. It carries out to Bates. Dugas hit it well, but Bates. The peg down after the bobble at the plate, and Beloso is out. He checks the runner and brings the 3-1 pitch. Popped up. Malazzo. Makes the catch up the first base side, and that ends the inning as Ethan Wilson fouls out to the young LSU cat going for Collier Cranford. First pitch swinging. Daly will have another chance. This one is in the glove of De La Torre. Act in Oxford, Mississippi, especially the way the Rebels are playing right now. They have not lost a game since the first game of the year. That's a nine-pitch inning as we've heard that for many, many years. I know you have as well. This is a ball that's going to drop in left center field. You could almost call that one a humpback liner. Fix and say, there you go. There's your humpback liner. Kind of right be coming uh, in response to the virus. The throw down. Safe. K. Doty able to beat the throw. Got in there. Once again, that shift takes a base hit away from Cade Beloso. That was the shortstop, Martin Bates. And this brings on Davis, and he's hit by a pitch. Keys to that series. There's a knock to right field by De La Torre. He's been suffering offensively, especially compared to last year, but a couple of good swings. LSU as far as giving them up. Hunter Stokes has grounded out twice. Nicely done by Collier Cranford, who was backpedaling in a hurry. Stores takes care of Montiel on strikes. It's UMass Lowell. And he goes the other way and finds left field for a base hit. Well, DiGiacomo could be one of those guys as well. The runner is moving. DiGiacomo swings and misses. And Sanford has a stolen base. So DiGiacomo failed. Didn't have any trouble there as he just knocked a little paint off the outside corner. Alonzo goes down on three pitches. Oh, Much coffee before the game. Well, I, I think thinking. so. That's a pretty good way he, to say it. He needed to cut down just maybe the one or two cups of coffee pregame. Sandal strikes out for the third. Five hits for the Jaguars, nine for the Tigers. Cranford is first pitch swinging, and he stings one into left field. Call your Cranford as a two-hit night. He's digging for second. He'll make it easily. Call your Cranford. 
There's a hot shot down to the second baseman, and he turns it into an out. Hunter Stokes went to his left a couple of steps that's never been dealt with before. Doty goes down on strikes. Cabrera goes down on strikes, and that was a good job by Milleron. Veloso is behind the runner at first base. De La Torre hits the ball hard again, but it's grabbed by Cabrera in deep right field. So Matthew Beck throws a scoreless eighth, and we... Mm. Bianco fans, and that ends the eighth. That breaking ball. Giacomo retreats in a hurry, and he's there for the out. Those days. Mm. Oh, that's how you do it right there. Got a hit 0-2, so a breaking ball. Of limited South Alabama to five hits and one run. Swing and a miss. Pontano strikes out two. In the ninth, a three-up, three-down performance. And the LSU Tigers have won five in a row. Ben McDonald as they take this win with them to Oxford, Mississippi, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday against Ole Miss. SEC play is upon us.